In this video, I will show you the performance mining capabilities of Apromore. Specifically, I will show you how to analyze the temporal performance of a process. I will use an event log of a manufacturing process to illustrate this. There are three ways in which you can analyze the temporal performance of a process in Apromore. The first approach is by simply opening the event log using the process discoverer plugin, which shows me by default a process map, but I can switch between this view and a BPML model. Let me stay in the process map view. In the process map, I see activities and I see directly follows relations or consecutive relations between activities. By default, a promore shows me the frequency view, which means that I see how many times or in how many cases an activity has been performed and in how many cases a given consecutive or directly follows relation has occurred. I can change this in the visualization settings and move from the frequency view to the so-called duration view. In this case, I will see for every activity how much time on average it takes to perform that activity, that is called also processing time, and for every pair of consecutive activities, I can see how much time I spend between these two activities. This is also called waiting time. Please note that if your event log does not have a start timestamp and an end timestamp for every activity, but instead it only has the end timestamp of each activity, you will only be able to see waiting times and you will not be able to see processing times. Fortunately, in this event log, I have start timestamps and end timestamps, and that's why I can see the processing time and also the waiting times. With this view, I can get an idea of what are the bottlenecks in my process. This will be color coded in red. For example, I can see that the activities that takes the most times are milling machine 10, 16, milling machine 8, and change version machine 22. I can also see where are the bottlenecks as far as waiting times are concerned. For example, I can see immediately a bottleneck in here, the time, the average waiting time between the moment I complete the task turning and milling QC and the moment I start the task nitration QC is 1.44 weeks, probably because this machine has a very limited capacity. Here I have been showing you the uh, average waiting times and the average processing times. I can switch from the average uh, function, I can switch to a maximum function, and in which case I will see the maximum processing time of each activity and the maximum time between each pair of consecutive activities or the maximum waiting time. I can also select the minimum aggregation function or I can select the cumulative function, which means how much time in total this task has been active during the period of time covered by the event log. In this time, in this case, this machine has been active for 1.85 months. Uh, or the total amount of time that I have waited across all the cases in this event log. For example, in here, the total waiting time between this task and the next one is 3.11 weeks across all the 225 cases of this process. Let me switch back from the cumulative function to the average aggregation function. Until now, I have shown you how to analyze the performance of the process from the activity perspective. In other words, I am showing you the average execution time of each activity and the average waiting time between two activities in the process. In Apromore, I can switch to other perspectives. For example, I can take in, this con in the context of this log the worker ID perspective because worker ID is one of the columns in this event log. And I can then observe how much a time every worker spends on average on the activities assigned to them. So instead of having a process map where the nodes represent activities, I have a process map in which the nodes represent workers and the arcs therefore represent handoffs between workers. This allows me to see 
which workers are bottlenecks in this process. For example, in here, I have a very high waiting time when a handoff is performed from the worker with ID 3767 to the worker with ID 4287. Therefore, I can conclude that there is a problem at the level of this worker. Possibly that worker has, is too busy or there is a, a problem when uh, these two workers are working in different areas and they are working on different schedules and therefore when we go from one worker to the next worker, it takes too much time. The second approach to analyze the temporal performance in a Promore is by means of performance dashboards. Let me go back to the portal and trigger the performance dashboard for this event log. In the performance dashboards, I can see a lot of information about the temporal dynamics of this process. In the events over time tab, I can see how many events occur throughout it during, during the period of time covered by this event log. And I can see certain patterns. You know, I can see lots of events occurring on some days and fewer events occurring on other days. So there is very little activity, for example, on Saturdays and Sundays, and there is a lot of activity from Monday to Wednesday. I can also see the number of cases that are active over time, and this gives me an idea of the amount of inventory or working process that occurs during this period of time. I can see that at the peak, I have 70 cases active at the same point in time, and that happens somewhere around the 13th of February. Uh, and that gives me an idea of what are the periods in time during which I was busier and the periods in time during which I was less busy in this factory. I can also visualize the distribution of the case durations, which we also call the cycle time of the process. I can see that the majority of cases takes between almost just a few minutes and up to uh, around one month or one and a half months and very very few cases take more than one month yet I can see that some cases a handful of cases do take more than 2.5 months I can also check the average processing times of the cases in this process meaning how much time a uh, I spend in each case for example I can see here that in 21 cases I spend two hours of processing time, meaning that the, in these 21 cases, the workers are actively working on this process for two hours. I can also see the distribution of waiting times across the different cases of the process. And if I switch to the activities tab in the performance uh, dashboard, and I select the average duration uh, measure, I can see the distribution of average durations uh, I can see for every activity. So I can see, for example, here that the activity that spends the most amount of uh, time is change version machine 22, which is something I previously observed also on the process discoverer. I can switch to other perspectives, like for example, the resource perspective. In this process, the resource correspond to stations in the factory. And I can see that the station where I spend the largest amount of time is machine 22, uh, which is a milling machine. The third approach to analyze the temporal performance in a Promore is by means of log animation. I have previously exported a BPMN model that I automatically discovered from this event log using the process discoverer. I have both a process model and an event log in my workspace. So I will select both of them and I will call the log animation plugin in a Promore. The log animation plugin is going to display me the process model that I automatically discovered from the event log. And when I hit the play button, it's going to show me at a certain speed 
how different cases are circulating through the process. And I can make the speed faster or slower in order to be able to appreciate the dynamics of the process. What I can see here is that there is a buildup of cases in the first step of the process or prior to the first step of the process, which means that these machines that are at the start of the process are the bottlenecks in this process. On the other hand, I can see, for example, that the tokens are circulating quite quickly in later steps of the process. If I go to the left, I will find that there is another bo bottleneck building up just before lapping machine one and yet another bottleneck happening around the final inspection and quality control. And this concludes my demonstration of the performance mining capabilities of Apromore.